Hey everyone, Son of Beast and Terry Crews here. This is NHL Stanley Cup Playoffs 24 on EA Sports. Sup, mates? It's Son of Beast and Woods Pretty here. As right now at this moment, as we are ready to step into game five, this will be the only game I suddenly change the time so I messed it up a little bit. I thought this was going to be later that night, but that did not happen. But this part of the game, this is what we are calling for. This is the 330 game. If you're watching this one, we've got a great matchup in between. It's between the Tampa Bay Lightning facing against the Carolina Hurricanes. Now this is a chance for Tampa Bay Lightning if they stay alive in that game. It's a win or go home for the Lightnings. If they don't win, then the Hurricanes move on to the Conference Finals. If they do win, then they will be heading back to Game 6, back home in Amali Arena in Tampa Bay, Florida, where they will meet again for the Carolina Hurricanes. That is part of a matchup as I have the next commentaries up. This will be the only ones that we have. And this is James Cebulski along with Cheryl and Gary Andre is right, right on the uh, center ice. He will be, she will be uh, doing something going on in between of the takes in between. But Carlin Bay, that's the name of it. I have to call for him. Well, Carlin Bay, that's going to be what the center ice is all about. All the intermission it is. You can't even take all of it at once. And it's right now, this will be it. Will the Hurricane swept them down, or will the Tampa Bay Lightning stay alive in Game Five and force into Game Six? Let's find out if the real one types in. Good luck, folks, for watching this guy, and we'll see you all later for the post-game show. Let's get going. We're still in the early stages of this period. Still scoreless in this one. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. And he takes the pass. Angles it over to Hagel. From the right wing, he moves it to the middle. Big time stop. Great positioning by the goaltender to redirect it to the corner, getting it out of danger. The Hurricanes still play it in their own end. The Lightning have gained control of the puck in their own zone. Gaining momentum along the wing. Good sides taking the that puck along the wall. The Hurricanes take the puck through the neutral zone. Skates to the crease, and that's blocked away. Hedman's got it in the defensive end. Gains the zone along the right wall. The Hurricanes pick up steam and are on the attack. Moves it quickly over to Bunty. Turned aside with the cut by Vasilevsky. Reaction time is so critical for goaltenders because the way the players shoot in this game today, man, it is so tough to stop. So this one, instincts. Glove goes up, makes the save. The points win it in the defensive zone. Quick feed to Stamkos. Moves the puck along the half wall. Can't maintain possession. 
position. Carolina's got the puck behind the net. Along the side, here they come through the neutral zone. And that goes off the player in front. And no battle for that loose puck along the boards. The ball scooping up along the boards. Tampa Bay's grab a hold of the puck. The Bolts take it across the line. Moves it to Stamkos. Carolina's got the puck inside the defensive zone. Natchez plays it against the boards. Great pressure with the stick. The Hurricanes gain control of the puck. Carolina's got it along the wall. Here's a chance! Makes the puck stop! Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. Lots of time left in this period. Still looking for our first goal. Sorelli's won the draw here in their own zone. Battle along the boards. The Bolts have it now. Here they come inside the neutral zone. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to put that one away. We'll get a face off after the puck stays covered up.
The Hurricanes have a hold on the defensive zone. The Bolts gain control of the puck against the wall. Here they come up along the wing. They slide to complete the ball. Tampa Bay goal is the first goal of the playoffs scored by number 20, Nick Paul. His first assist is by number 48, Nick Furbitz. And by number 43, Chris D. Hahn. Top of the goal, 722 remaining in his first period. That's Nick Paul with the goal of the playoffs, assisted by Nick Furbitz and Chris D. Hahn. 722 in the playoffs. Take control. 
Double day goal. The score score of the playoff score by number 21, Brandon Brown. It is for assistant to by number 73, Victor Hebe. Top of goal, 9.53 in the first story. That's great and great for the goal. Assisted by Victor Hebe, 9.53 in the first of the playoffs. The Hurricanes will get some fresh legs out there as they continue this power play. Still using a stick to put the puck away. Into the offensive end now. Grabs control of it. Stop by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. Uh, this is where he earns his money. The most coveted spot just ahead of the blue paint. And this side he doesn't convert because the goaltender makes an excellent save. Kasselowski's got the puck and he's going to hang on. When Denny's ready for the draws, they will continue to try to kill off this penalty. The frozen biscuits try to veer back underway here. Puck clear from the defensive end. The Hurricanes have it against the wall. And he slides it quickly to Carolina. Looking to make something happen in the offensive zone. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. And a big oh, goodness, it stayed on what a save! It was all about in James and that athleticism and the way to get to that puck, that was on display. Here he is, shot right in front! As we look at that last save again, James, it is absolutely incredible and so impressive to see a goaltender Pass the halfway mark of this period, and it's a comfortable 2-0 lead we're looking at right now. The Bulls come up with an offensive so draw. Quick feed to Sheary. Carolina's got the puck here in the open ice. Moves it to Drury. Blocked in traffic. Taken by Perfect. And now he moves it quickly to Paul. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. And the intensity starting to ramp up here after that hit. Drives to the paint. Oh, what a stop by Vasilevsky. From the right side, takes the pass. Double day goal, the second goal of the playoff score by number 20, Nick Paul. The first assisted by number 91, Steven Samkos. And by number 68, Andre Vasilevsky. Double goal, 1247 remaining in the first period. It's Nick Paul's second goal, assisted by Steven Samkos and Andre Vasilevsky. 1247 in the first period of the playoffs. Draw deep in the defensive zone. 
Coaches often measure scoring chances. He does a real good job to get to that spot, but he will be disappointed. It's so difficult to get to, you want to convert when you get there. Tampa Bay's offense is shining bright tonight. Everything they put on net seems to find the back of it. And they lead it late in the first. They go on the attack through center. That's the end of the first period. Tampa Bay Lightning, three. Carolina Hurricanes, zero. Jarvis has it in the defensive end. From the open ice. 
got the puck in her own end. Gaining momentum along the way. And that's off target as it hits a body. Takes a shot. The Hurricanes take position in the neutral zone. The Lightning have control of the puck. Hedman stick handling in his own zone. Taken by Ismo. Penalty. The body language on the bench says that all James are all looking up at the time on the clock to see if they'll continue to run because they got to kill off this penalty when they're down a bunch of goals. And they'll roll the power play unit right back out. No, they haven't scored on the power play yet. 100% is not a number that we see typically. So they got to find a way to just... So a lot of penalty to me. Michael Isnow, 
Pacers 69, number 20, Nick Falk. Domino 136 remaining in the second period. That's Michael Ismail with the goal assisted by Nick Falk. 1136 in the playoffs in the second period. Last second communication with 
with the D as centers get ready to drop the puck. The Hurricanes will go to work here in the offensive zone. The Bolts gain possession in their own end. Here they come up along the wing. The Hurricanes have it now. Through center along the wing. Back to the point goes. Display of firepower leading 5-1. Quick pass to Hedman. Tampa Bay's looking to break out. Tries to get it to Rush. Along the wing up the neutral zone. Carolina's got possession at center. Picked up along the wall by Carolina. Here's a chance. Fantastic save. The key to being a great goaltender is not giving up second shot opportunities and it's playing the rebounds to the corner. He does an excellent job here. Moves it quickly over the point. The Hurricanes have a hold of it in the defensive zone. Tara Biden's got the puck. Here in the corner, he grabs the puck. Hammers one. Comes up with the stop. Tampa Bay's game possession along the boards. And less than a minute to go here. Under a minute remaining in the second period of the playoffs. Quick feed to Ajo. The Hurricanes gain the zone. Cut shot. Oh, can't get it to go. Well, it's a good scoring chance. This quick release shot, but unable to convert. Through pass ahead. Here they come up along the wing. Face a shot. Big stop. Perkins is moving the puck through his own zone. Sends it over to point. Moves it to Hagel. And he loses both the puck and his balance after the hit. Oh, a spectacular save right there. Wow. Unbelievable. I mean, it was all but in, and he steals it because of that last ditch attempt to find the puck. Just incredible save, James. Carolina's had their opportunities, but they still trail late in this second period. That's the end of the second period, Tampa Bay Lightning 5, and Carolina Hurricanes 1. Hey guys, it's Sonic Beast, I wanted to talk about the, all the storm packet right in between those two of the Hurricanes and the Lightning. These are a little bit of a heavy aggressive right in between of those two. I wonder what's the feeling right in between, in between the next goal. Carolina trying to battle for the attack. They have nowhere else to go, nowhere to keep it on site, and they have nowhere else to protect it right in between the hour. Those group, not insane at all, but they might be what they're taking on their own next level. But this might be it. Carolina Hurricanes are trying to sweep them out of here and advance towards the Eastern Conference Finals. But this moment, Ten Bay Lightning are starting to go back into work here. They wanted to try to bail them out and snap it out of here. Will this be a success, or this will be a failure? Let's find out what happens now. Back to you, Son of Beast Out. See you later, folks, for the post-game show. Two down, one to go. Third period, they're ready to drop the puck. We are underway here in the third. Let's see if there's any sort of saving space on one end of the ice. Vasilevsky's got the puck. He's going to hang on for a whistle and slow. Well, he's been shelled, has he, James? He's weathered every score that's been thrown at him, and now he likes to pounce on this puck. It's a nice, safe play. He anticipates well, and he holds on for the whistle. Tampa Bay's taking position in the run end. The Bolts will play from the defensive zone. Tampa Bay's got the puck against the boards. Both sides taking in for that puck along the wall. And he's knocked off the puck there. Here's a short pass to Burns. Shot! And that goes off of Lonnie!
Catholic School in the playoff score by number eight, Rick Burns. Case for Sissadier by number 20, Sebastian Aho. And by number 39, Andre Smetsika. Time of the goal for the Carolina Hurricanes, 44 seconds in the third period. That's, that's, Brett Burns with the goal, assisted by Sebastian Aho and Andre Smetsika. 44 seconds in the third of the playoffs.
Advice of Bastionago, 519 in the playoffs. Nearing the midway mark of the period, the Hurricanes are down a pair. And they take possession here in the offensive zone and time to go on the attack. And that goes off the player. And that's knocked away in the defensive end by Hagel. Gaining momentum in the offensive end. There's a shot denied on a puck stopper. We'll get a face-off after the puck stays covered up. Carolina's had a lot to like about their game tonight. Decided advantage in the shot department, but they still trail here in the third. The Holtz win the draw. Picked up along the boards by Hedman. Keeps possession on the play. And some good footwork to kick it away. Carolina well, you apparently two minutes for slashing. For slash number 18, Tom Velvey, 13, 17 remaining in the third period. That's two minutes early for Carolina, number 17, Tom Velvey, 13, 17 remaining in the third period of the game.
The Hurricanes played along the boards. Takes a shot. Oh, I thought he was going to be beaten and he somehow got a piece of that. And go oh, ahead, oh, okay. From the left side into the middle of the neutral zone. <laughs> they got a chance to make something happen here on the delay penalty. Extra attack is out. Moves it quickly over to Otto. Second base penalty, two minutes for interference. Two minutes for interference, number 20, time of the penalty, 10-22, maybe in the first. About two minute interference, 40, Tampa Bay, number 20, time of the penalty, 10-22, in the third. period for the Carolina Hurricanes on the power play. Number 20, Tampa Bay, 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 Time to go, 12-24 remaining in the third period. 
That's Brett Best for the goal, assisted by Andres Kachikov. 12 24 in the third of the playoffs. Goal of the playoffs, score by number 86, the Peter Kuchwa. This was assisted by number 23, Eric Sonax, and by number 73, Victor Pepin. Time of the goal, 13.55 remaining in the third period. That's the Peter Kuchwa goal, assisted by Eric Sonax and Victor Pepin, 13.55 in the third of the playoffs. Carolina penalty, two minutes for slashing. Slashing number 24, Tom the Bell, the 554 remaining in the third period. That's two minutes for Carolina for slashing number 24, 554 in the third period for the Tampa Bay Lightning Power Play. Tampa Bay's got it against the Lords. 
The Hurricanes have it now. Sends the pass over. From all the walls, they're gaining momentum. What a great read breaking up the pass. Radish is kick handling in his own zone. Now a quick pass to Trinac. The Bulls play along the way. And that's a great defensive heads up to force the turnover. One minute remaining in the period in the third period of the playoffs. The Hurricanes gain possession of their own end. That's scooped up by Pesci. Slides it across the corner. Big slides, come on. Moves it to the top. Heads up, come on. And he turned that one aside. The Hurricanes really need a goal. And a goal is going in the extra chamber zone. And we get a whistle. Everybody makes a move. That's the end of the game. Your final score for tonight's game, Tampa Bay Lightning 7 and Carolina Hurricanes 5. Folks, thank you for joining us here for tonight's game. And for a game 7 is necessary, we'll be having you back here at the PNC Arena for our coverage for the final game of the conference finals. We'd like to ask you, please, drive carefully, get home safely. Have a good night. Take care, everyone. All right, guys, thank you so much. As we're all now in said we couldn't just be seen that the Hurricanes were to win that game, but it just happened to be go on. Three star players of the game are on. Nick Paul with two goals, one assist, one hits and one assist and seven hits. And then Braden Point at three goals with the hat trick and arranged with four hits. Only did just that. Great work for his technique and skills. And your fine, and your first star goes to Andre Vezilevsky with 83 saves. Just amazing how you can definitely feel like you have played for Andre Vesilovsky's best goaltender at Game Boy. Now they're definitely climbing in right now. It's a 3 2 in the series as Carolina is still up in front. And if they get their winning next game, they will be heading back to Game 7 in Carolina. Let's hope that there really might be another room to get in now. Here's how you do with the total statistics 88 out of 67 total shots for Carolina, 71 over 66 for Tampa Bay. And it was 7-11 over 545 for a time on attack for Carolina, with 92% passing over 89. Just 50 faceoff wins over 30, Carolina. 8-minute penalty kill was too many for them as they got a little spilled up already on the nightmare fuel. Only 4-minute penalty kill for Tampa Bay. They only had one power play goal with 519. And the other team, Carolina, with one power play goal with 2.34. Well, I guess now you'll have to wait and say, because it's going to be happening in Game 6. They'll be back here at Amalie Arena 
for a Tampa Bay Lightning, if they can definitely win that game and definitely tie that up, or it could be the end of the line. We don't know. So you'll have to find out for the next time once this game gets closer right in between. And who's joining us here for the couple of the games, you got the Maple Leafs facing against the Bruins. That will be the first part of the game at 7. And at second, 7.30. And then the next game will be the Canucks facing against the Golden Knights. That's happening at 10. And then the middle game will be Stars facing against the Jets. That will be at 8.30 p.m. Keep your eyes peeled here for the next part of that game. And that will be on its way right at that moment. And as are always, we are heading out of here. And if you are waiting for the MBI, it's coming up next, right after the East Messages. Thanks for joining us and have a wonderful evening, everybody. Peace out, folks, for a while as the NHL Stanley Cup playoffs on EA Sports. What's pretty out of here? And Son of Beast gone. Peace out. So long in Carolina. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.